Good morning, teachers and students. I'm Anaya Lugo. And I'm David Perez. Today is Friday, February 10th. And Mass News starts now. Academy Awards will be honoring the best movies of 2016. Here's entertainment news with more information. This month, Hollywood's actors and actresses took the stage at the Golden Globes. And now on February 26th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, you can watch the 89th Annual Academy Awards hosted by Jimmy Kimmel. Taking place at the Adobe Theatre in Hollywood, California, awards will be given out for nominations including La La Land, Hidden Figures, and Hacksaw Ridge for Best Picture. Ryan Gosling, Casey Affleck, Andrew Garfield, etc. are for actor in leading role. Awards will be giving out in a leading role for Emma Stone, Natalie Portman, and Meryl Streep. With too many nominations to name, last one we will be mentioning is Animated Feature Film. With nominees to name, Kubo, Zootopia, and Moana. Who do you want to win for Best Actress and why? I think Emma Stone will win Best Actress because she's really good and she's really talented, especially for how young she is. And she did really good in La La Land. It was really impressive and I just think she deserves it. Who do you want to win for Best Actor and why? I think that Andrew Garfield will win uh, Best Actor out of all the nominees for his film Hacksaw Ridge, directed by Mel Gibson, uh, because he was also in Silence, and both those films, Hacksaw Ridge and Silence, were fantastic films. Great performance out of both of them, so I think he should win the nominations. Who do you think will win Best Picture? I think La La Land will win Best Picture because the sets are nice and vibrant and beautiful, the choreography is very nice and it's very down to earth. The story is really nice and it has this old Hollywood theme and it's just a really nice movie overall and the actors are absolutely incredible in the movie. So don't forget, February 26th, 7 p.m., sit back, pop that popcorn and hope your favorite movie wins. I'm Laura Rivera. And I'm Amanda Felipe. And see you next time on Entertainment, Entertainment News. Starting off last week, we got all our subject selection forms here at Mass. Here's Mass Teams more with a different elective that you might be interested in taking next year. Miss Williams, which is a musical theater teacher here at Mass, works with her students on different choreographies and different songs that pertain to the shows they will be producing that same week. A lot of hard work and dedication comes from both Miss Williams and her students to ensure the finished product looks just right. Oftentimes, students even participate in warm-up activities where they warm up their vocal cords and practice their songs. Hi, I'm Destiny Perez, and in the Musical Theatre Elective, we get ready for performances, and there's a, includes a lot of dancing, um, a lot of singing, so we do lots of vocal warm-ups, and um, we go to competition. In order to be in this elective, students must audition to make sure they've got the right skills to meet the criteria. My name is Eva Perez, and right now I'm in the broadcasting program. And ever since I got my subject selection form, I actually really am interested in um, taking musical theater. And I don't have to audition, but I still hope that I can get it in my schedule next year. Recently, selected students from this magnet went and participated in an event held for children with cerebral palsy. Two months ago, this magnet also participated in Welcome to the 60s, which was the winter showcase shown right here in our cafeteria. Many students got to show off their amazing talents and what they can do in front of a huge audience. Hi, um, my name is Miss Bailey Williams. I teach the musical theater elective here at Miami Art Studio. Next year, we're going to become a substrand from the theater magnet. We have our own musical theater magnet now. Um, for the elective, what we do this year, what we've done this year, was the winter showcase. Musical theater really does create a diverse and safe environment for students to show off their talents, proving that Mass really is a home for the arts. Thanks for watching, Mass means more. Amelia Aleman, signing out. Back in October, Upper Level High School covered a certainly confusing topic, the Mandela Effect. 2017 and kicking with new theories, we're bringing it back. Hey guys, I'm Mia Rodriguez and you're watching The Conspiracy Theorist. The Mandela Effect started in the year 2013. This is the same year that Nelson Mandela himself died. Many believed and claimed that Nelson Mandela actually died in prison in the year 1991. This caused a series of new events turning out to be false. For example, many people remember the old childhood show, The Berenstain Bears. Or is it? It's actually The Berenstain Bears. This left many torn. 
Arguments and controversies happen everywhere, from social media to school to households. Thus was the birth of the Mandela Effect. Dr. Mike Batsera. My name is Nick Serrano. My name is Miguel Gonzalez and I'm in law. Have you ever heard of the Mandela Effect and or the Simpsons predictions? So the Simpsons prediction I heard of one, I actually saw one on social media and it was pertaining to their prediction of who was going to win the presidential election and it looks like they were right. So that's the only one I have ever heard of and the Mandela Effect I have not heard of. Yeah, I've heard of a little bit about them. Yeah. Number one, Lady Gaga and the Super Bowl performance. I don't know, they have to know something. I didn't watch it. Ew, that's so ugly. The cartoon came out before the Super Bowl. Yeah. So this is another prediction. Yes. That's interesting. Number two, the Patriots versus the Falcons Super Bowl win. Wow. And they're not that far off on the score. They were like really close. Yeah. They were like three points away for the Patriots and five points away for, wow. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, I saw this floating around. That's crazy. Was that the actual score? No, but they were very close to the actual score. I believe that the Patriots, they are about four points off, and with them, the Falcons, about five. I saw this before, but I thought it was like photoshopped. Number three, the Queen song, We Are the Champions. What? Wait, for real? Yeah. No, but at the end, like, it goes, of the world, and... You're telling me that does not end with of the world, it just ends with the word champions. Yes. You learn something new every day. We hope you enjoyed these new Mandela effects, predictions, and conspiracy theories. Thanks for watching The Conspiracy Theorist. I'm Mia Rodriguez signing out. This Valentine's Day, send a little love to teachers, friends, or maybe even that special someone with Valentine grams. You can purchase these grams after school for $3 in the activities office. While performing, you may come across some mistakes, or as we call them in broadcasting, bloopers. Here's Mass Feed with some bloopers that have happened in our past. Hi there, I'm Patty Vasquez. I'm Rebecca Lama. And this week's segment, we're talking about bloopers. Wait, Wait what? what? Take one. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lama. I'm Patty Vasquez, and today we're talking about... Wait, what are we talking about? Patty, we're talking about bloopers! We're talking about bloopers! Hey, okay, y'all. Okay. Hi, I'm Patty Vasquez, and today's segment is about bloopers. Like, bloopers when you fall and your friend videotapes it and then they put it on the internet, and then everyone on the internet is gonna see that video of you falling and then your social life is slowly dissolving and you don't know what to do next. Um, we're also talking about cats. <coughs> okay guys, you guys need to stop. Hi, my name is Angela Curios, and on this week's segment we're talking about bloopers, aka mistakes made. Was it that hard? Yeah. Take 492. Students a part of this old couch had worked effortlessly to make sure that this production was fantastic. So my blooper moment, I think, would be about two shows ago. I said a line, and then I said the line again, and then I had to rearrange my wording. But I mean, in any show, you still have to just keep going and go with it, and then you just have to make sense of it. We also asked theater tech students what was their blooper moment while working on this old couch. Um, my, me and my friend were both carrying a couch and my friend decided to drop the couch and I legit almost fell off the platform. It was really funny. Students who were a part of the old couch and who set it up, we got them to tell us their bloopers. But now, here are some bloopers from your own Moss TV crew. Aight, Patty! I'm telling you just how I feel. Go like this. No. Blaze. Is it Superman? No. Whoa. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Slash, 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 slash. Dale, get away. As you may have noticed, students here at Mass have had their own blooper moments. Most times you don't even realize. Why? Because here at Mass, we always persevere and do our best to make sure that our end product is amazing. I'm Rebecca Alama. I'm Patty Vasquez, and thank you for watching this week's segment of Mass Feed. Last week, our orchestra magnet and some selected band students performed the fifth annual pop concert. Middle and high school levels two and three performed various pop songs.
songs performed included the following. All About That Bass, Death of a Bachelor, Who Are You, He Can Only Hold Her, Falling, Titanium, Bound to You, and Uptown Funk. Unlike previous years, this year the orchestra and selected band students decided to perform a variety of songs instead of focusing on one specific album. Thanks for watching. This has been Mass News. Where Mass is more on Mass TV. I'm telling you, just how I feel.